Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com and welcome back to another video on the channel. In this After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very cool and colorful title animation inside of After Effects using a very interesting technique for creating those colorful swirly backgrounds. So this tutorial is highly inspired from one of the template from Voxel Design. He is a video hive author. I definitely recommend you guys to go ahead and check him out. The link will be in the description below. So with that said, let's Let's dive into After Effects and get started. Now before we begin with this tutorial, I would like to take a minute and introduce you guys to my very own Gaze Graphics Pack which contains over 2000 plus ready to use animations. Plus it comes with Animation Studio which is a free extension for After Effects making the pack super easy to use. The pack contains 18 different animation categories and 250 plus sound effects making it all in one graphics pack. To know more about this pack, check out the link in the description below. With that said, let's get back to After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition, gonna be 1920 by 1080. Let's make this 30 FPS in 10 seconds long. Let's call this main as this is going to be our main comp, hit OK. Create one more composition, which is going to be our fractal comp. So I'm going to call this fractals with the same settings and hit OK. Then hit Control Y to create a new solid, call this fractals again. Then go into effects and presets and type in fractal noise. Double click to apply that up and there are several different things that you can do using this effect. This is absolutely an amazing effect. I have created many different tutorials showing some various uses of this. I'll mention the link in the description in, in case you guys are uh, interested in those tutorials. So in the fractal type, I'm going to set this to dynamic and the noise type, I'm going to go with spline. Then let's bring up the contrast really high. Also, let's invert this up and let's increase the contrast somewhere around there looks good and also bring down the brightness a bit unless and until all the white spots have been disappeared so i'm gonna keep on setting in setting it in minus section so i'll, I'll think minus 200 should work yep that looks good let's create a keyframe on the brightness and i'll go around two seconds and set this to let's go with maybe minus 30 should work yep that looks nice. Also, I want the uh, continuous evolution for our fractal noise. So to do that, I'm going to use an expression. So hold alt and click on the stopwatch and type in time times 150. So now the evolution is always processing just like that. Looks interesting. Okay, so let's go around six seconds and let's copy this keyframe, hit control C, control V, go to eight seconds and let's again copy the first keyframe, control C, control V. So we have a fade in and fade out just like that. Now let's go into the transform section and I want to stretch this up a bit. So unlink the uniform scaling and increase the height just something like around let's go with maybe around 150 not too much not too less yep that is looking good and you can always tweak this later on as well if the effect doesn't look according to your requirements so also the last thing that i want to do is offset the turbulence so i'm going to create a keyframe on the offset turbulence go all the way at 10 seconds and let's bring that down really something like that so we have a very simple position animation as you can see I think I'm going to make this a bit more fast. So make this a bit more. Let's see. Maybe a bit more. Yep, that looks much better. That is looking good. Now let's create one more solid. So hit control Y to create a solid called this gradient because we will be using a gradient ramp effect on this double click to apply that up swap the colors and set the blending mode to 
linear bond so now what this is going to do is wherever there is black color it's gonna actually hide the fractal noise and wherever there is white color it's going to highlight this up as you can see just like that so basically we are trying to create a nice fall off just like so pretty cool now let's go back into our main composition drag and drop in the fractal comp that we have just looking something like this now let's create a new adjustment layer call this a warp and go into effects and preset and use an effect called polar coordinates a pretty cool effect let's set this to 100 and it looks absolutely weird so to fix this let's set the type of conversion from polar to rect to rect to polar so now we have a nice animation from the center which looks something like a shock wave so using this technique you can create your own shock waves as well but let's go ahead and add one more effect called cc radial blur radial fast blur actually so this effect is going to help us to achieve a very interesting look set this to brightness look kind of clouds looks pretty interesting actually so we have that ready let's select both the layers hit ctrl shift c and let's actually call this clouds now let's add a background, hit Control y to create a new solid, BG for background and then we can go ahead and color this up as well. So I'm going to use a CC toner to color this, give it a nice hot pink color, something like that and then add a transform effect on this to scale this up. Let's scale the height to around 200 and that is looking pretty good now we can let's just duplicate this so hit ctrl d to duplicate it and change the color to a nice purple color and rotate this by 180 degrees and then select both the layers and set the blending mode of this to screen now in case if you don't see this blending options or blending mode options you can hit f4 on the keyboard to make it visible so this is what we have so far looks pretty interesting so using this technique you can create some very cool effects actually anyways let's move ahead let's create a new adjustment layer call this shine and on this again i'm going to use the cc radial fast blur let's increase this to 80 and set this to darkest so kind of it it helps us to get kind of this streaky look which is what we are going for let's actually now create a new adjustment layer and call this distortion and on this layer we will be adding all the effects that will help you to achieve the final result so so on the distortion first of all i'm gonna add a transform on this and then I'll add optics compensation and let's keyframe this really quick first of all set this to resolve lens distortion and go at the very beginning set this to 20 create a keyframe go all the way up to 8 seconds and set this to 75 so now we see nothing no really big changes but now when we actually go ahead and add an effect call 12 and increase this to 190 degrees now you can get a really interesting look as you can see so let's set this to around maybe i'll go around 26 that looks good Go into effects and preset and add a CC lens effect. Double click to apply that up. And let's increase the size. Maybe somewhere around there looks good. Also, we can uh, bring down the conversion to around 85%. And yeah, that is actually looking pretty cool. Maybe set this to 120. 
and then let's again use optics compensation and this time I'm going to also turn on the optical pixel section and set this to around 90 and now you can see we get a really interesting look that we are going for now we don't want the send to section so to hide that we can actually use a why I'm talk why I'm using actually so many times the word actually I'm repeating it again and again I don't know why so anyways let's um, call this circle and select the ellipse tool create a mask from the center just like that also just align this into the center and pull this below the distortion and shine layer we can add some expansion to this so let's expand this by 100 pixels and add a feather of 150 oh 150 is a bit too much let's go with 50 yeah so now you can see we are getting close to the final result now that is looking cool but there is too much of detail and i don't really want that so what we can do is create a new adjustment layer again call this cc for color correction go into effects and preset and type in curves apply that up and let's increase the contrast so pull this just like that just a touch so now you can see we get a really interesting look and finally create a new adjustment layer again call this glow and add some traditional glow on this so i'll increase the glow radius to around 250 and bring down the threshold to again to 55 i guess and this to 2 and let's see what we get so as you can see this is looking pretty nice i think i'll set this to 60 and then let's add some particles that i have right over here so i'm gonna drag and drop it and change the blending mode to screen put this below the cc and go into effects and preset let's add cc toner on this and i can select the same colors from right over here maybe some nice bright colors and bring down the opacity to around 30 percent oh you thought is a bit too much keep it very subtle basically something like that 40 yep 40 looks good hit ctrl d and rotate them by 180 degrees let's go with a nice purple color and let's go to two seconds select them both hit t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe go forward set this to zero go to six seconds create a keyframe go forward and set this to zero we can select all of them and hit F9 to ease them. Now we should have a really interesting look as you can see. And finally, you can go ahead and add your cool text on this. So I'm going to select the text tool and let's type in swirl. You can of course type in whatever that you want. Align this and just add this right over here. Now for now I'm just going to add a simple opacity animation but you can create some cool animation watching our previous tutorials that will help you to achieve some very interesting text animations as well. And as you can see this is looking super cool. Now one animation that we can add to our text is a nice tracking. So let me quickly do that. Create a keyframe on the tracking amount and go right here. Set this to around 20. There we go. So we have a little bit of text animation that looks good. You know, pretty cool. And that is how you can achieve this cool, colorful, swervy background 
effect inside of After Effects without using any plugins, just some fractal noise and some traditional After Effects effects. And by the way, you can what you can also do is you can select the cloud, hit Control D to duplicate it, create a copy, give it a nice color, and you know play around with this. You can create some nice duplicates. So you know I can create a nice kind of a RGB look to this so instead of a purple i can go with nice blue you know maybe make a cool audio spectrum and that would look super cool to be honest so i hope this tutorial was useful to you guys and if it was make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative stay home stay safe peace out